I remember like booting up motherfucking uh, Odd World in DOS. Yeah, this is actually running really well. I'm shocked. I'm shocked and appalled. Dude, right? Fucking Riven era. We've got sound, right? That's the one thing I was honestly worried about. We've got it. We've got sound, so that's good. Welcome home, Berserker. Would you like... Off metal! I'm sorry. Oh, children giggling. That's my favorite. Cheers. Ninety-five, Sea Town. Ninety-five. Looks pretty fucking good for ninety-five. Running better than anything I ran in ninety-five. All right. Sick. Same with Horace. This looks great. Shocked. Harvester. Yummy. Chad Ward. Zorch. I'm stoked. This was literally the height, right? Almost hear my tower under my under my desk going. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, that's really interesting. Fun fact for those not oh ow fat aware <laughs> with the technology DS DOS box is an emulator. It's emulating a PC CPU graphics card and sounds card. It will run on a huge number of different platforms. It's actually really fucking impressive. Uh, show tips on okay. You can combine objects into new objects by clicking and dragging them on one another. Uh, that's hot. Sound levels can be adjusted in the options menu. Screen to dark tray adjusting the gamma in the options menu. You don't say. Check your photo on the inventory screen. It will give it will get worse as you take more damage. Look for special items that will restore your health. What's happening? After finding required items during the day, night will become will be the time of mischievous adventure. Double click the left mouse button on an exit to go through instantly. Use the right mouse button to attack an opponent. Left click on your character to press I. I'm going to forget all of this. Press I to view inventory. Left click on an object to grab it and right click to put it in an inventory. Okay. Penny saved is hardly worth the effort. What? Am I getting life advice? Oh, I'm gonna be load loving the fuck out of this shit. Um, use the left mouse button to move your character around the screen. If you're stuck on a puzzle, talk to other characters and they'll give you clues. Avoid glitch it. Avoid cliches like the plague. Well, that's just generally good advice, I'd say. Ammunition is precious, so don't waste it. If you get stuck on a puzzle, try using items in crazy, illogical ways. Save your game often, especially before trying something crazy, illogical, or dangerous. 
Holding down the control button plus the arrow keys allows you to attack opponents. Look before you leap. The help screen can be helpful, or better yet, read the manual. You can, you can pick your friends and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. Okay, dad. Right clicking on some objects in inventory shows a close up of that object. Right clicking on weapons in inventory activates and deactivates them. Press escape to bring up menu options. You can combine objects into new objects by clicking and dragging them into one. Am I, have I got it all? We've got it all, okay, get the fuck. Okay, I wanna touch that. Obviously, some fat high school girl left it here. What? We've started out so terribly! <laughs> A recently watered plastic plant. Um. An empty acne medicine container. A pair of plastic binoculars with the lenses melted to the table. Uh. An old fashioned clock with bells and hammers. A photo of a beautiful girl, blonde, and about 17 years old. Fuck off. Am I a creeper? Okay. <laughs> a handful of faded hardbacks litter the lower shelf. What is that leaning against the wall that a f apparent fat girl left? Oh my Jesus. Obviously some fat high school girl left here. What the fuck is that? I feel the thickness of those 90s jeans. <laughs> Oh. Shoe marks are visible on the end of this ballpoint pen. Is that just... Okay. What are you? A, fi a 25 cent piece dated 1952. Pick it up. What? What is all this shit in here? What is this shit? Isn't that shit? Is that shit? What is that shit? What is that shit? What is that shit? As of yet, the future isn't so bright. Fuck. I don't know what that says. That one time at band camp. Jesus Christ, what are you? What is that? A recently watered plastic plant. But well, what is that? What's that? Okay. Seven flannel shirts accompanied with matching blue jeans are hanging neatly in the closet. Oh my God. Examine the trash can, an empty trash can, so clean you can eat from it. Don't do that. As someone who went to band him. A stunning depiction of the earth made of paper mache. Stunning. Nope. Um. A box of crayons and a Range Rider coloring book. What? Who are you? Who am I? Where am I? Throw me alone, Steve, or I'll tell mom on you. I am Steve. Keyword. Steve? Steve, are you talking to me? Yeah, only I don't want to be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. Oh, bitch. I'm sorry. Look, I'm telling you, I need your help. I've lost my memory. Have not. <laughs> Cut it out. I'm telling you the truth. You always were a kidder, Steve. Leave me alone. I'm sick. What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomachache. I then think it's the kid from Willy Wonka. Because I want to watch my cowboy show. You look all right to me. I'm not faking. I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Daddy's sick in bed, too. And Mom believes me anyway. So shut up. Steve sounds like a little cunt. <laughs> Who's Daddy? Your dad is asleep? He and Mom went at it last night pretty hard. He stayed in bed. I saw what she did to him. It was pretty bad. What did she... Like, you don't know. I saw you and her on the couch last Wednesday night. Guess that's why she's grounded now. Huh. Too bad you wouldn't pay me, and I had to tell. Huh. What are you talking about? What girl? What? Is there an other one, too? Wait till I tell. What a little title fuck! I don't know what girl you're talking about. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. And now you don't remember? You think I'm dumb or something? Yes. No, I just can't remember anything, like I said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. What? Leave me alone so I can watch TV. I'm getting married. 
I said I don't want to talk about her anymore. That's a weird looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What do you mean retro? All TVs look alike. Sure, basically. But this is one old fashioned clunker. Old fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the tube. Where's the remote control? Oh. What's that? I. That's I'm not how it works. About it. I can't remember. And what was that you said about retro rockets? No, retro. It means. It means. Oh, man, I know what I mean. <laughs> that everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. And shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching my terrible show. Wow, I'm watching my stories. Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a colored television before. Have not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history. What made America great. And besides, blood and guts are neater. You're right. This is really neat. I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. You're not too bad for a lousy rat. Have you noticed that your show is in black? I already what did this. Well, well, you can't stop me. Bye. Finally. A pendulum-driven cuckoo clock with a cuckoo a oddly absent? <laughs> Jesus, what the fuck? <laughs> Fine bone trying to gleam from the mahogany shell. Rich mahogany. A box full of newspapers? Hot. Go in the kitchen, you dumb fuck, where you belong. I don't know, I, I think he... The kids seem to know him. The kid called me Steve. Dude, what in the tit? The gunfight's been going on for a while, right? Did you see the guts pour out? Rich mahogany. Uh, an expertly embroidered old-fashioned wall plaque. A cabinet smells of dirty diapers? No. Cookies are baking in the oven. Cute. These cookies are hot out of the oven. A newborn sleeping soundly. Oh my god, did I just try to punch the baby? I gotta I got save before I accidentally punch someone. I'm gonna punch a baby. Nothing's happened. I think we're still on fuck one. Alright, psycho. Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty- Who are you? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. Oh my god. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Yeah, nice. Man's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Oh, You're joshing? Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Steve. Your name will be M-U-D Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. <laughs> Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. <laughs> I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. Aw, oh, shit. I have a sister now? When did I graduate? Four months ago, as if you could forget that. What college? College? A high school diploma is all you need to get a job. And besides, you can't marry Stephanie if you're going to waste your time going to college. 18 years old and you're just now getting your first job. It's a disgrace, but better late than never. I guess we can thank Stephanie for that. Holy shit! And just who is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop, She'll think her fiancé is having Poop. second thoughts about the wedding. Don't you go starting all that amnesia poop. Look, all this talk about weddings is nuts. 
I'm not marrying anybody till I figure out what's going on here. First the heartbreak of psoriasis and now this. <laughs> Two weeks before the wedding and you're backing out. Whatever will the neighbors think? I can't marry someone I don't even know. Fine, have it your way, but leave me out of it. If you're going to break <laughs> Stephanie's heart, you march right next door and do it yourself. And don't expect me to write you a note. Can I type in it? Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Mommy's face went full Quaalude. Full fucking Quaalude! Fiance? This is insane! Oh, you're not having second thoughts about marrying Stephanie. Is that what this silliness is all about? Pre-wedding jitters? Maybe. Can something like that produce amnesia? Stop this foolishness right now and count your blessings. Stephanie is great at cooking and cleaning. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! What's cooking and cleaning got to do with anything? Honestly, boys are so dense. What else is there for a wife but cooking and cleaning? You may not appreciate a hot meal on a clean plate when it's there, but if it wasn't, we'd hear about it soon enough, I'll bet. You're saying that's all there is to marriage? Cooking and cleaning? Well, you'll uh, have to ask your father about that, but I'm sure Stephanie will do her duty when the time comes. Oh my god! in the other room. He decided to sleep in today. Now please let me get back to my cookies. The bake sale is on Friday and yet you're baking the cookies now. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. But they'll be stale by then. That's why I'm throwing them away. And then cooking more? To replace the ones I throw out. Why? Well I have to. No one's going to pay to eat stale cookies out of the garbage can. But you expect me to. Of course not, Steve. I wouldn't charge you. I'm your mother. Help yourself. Okay, okay. What charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and have no family ties. <laughs> Kind of a specific target group, isn't it? You have to pay attention to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. You will. The whole thing has been organized by the Lodge. Tell me more about this bake sale. Why is it so important? As I told you, many unfortunates who come to Harvest end up needing financial help. Why is that the town's problem? It's not a problem, so long as those folks are taken care of. It's the will of the Lodge. Yeah, that made my sinus clear. Whoa, I'm doing great. I'm having a great time. What lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest and the most exclusive. What's so great about it? Hard to say since hardly anyone gets inside, but it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their patented auto dry process TM. I've never used one, but I know <laughs> I like it. Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk over to the lodge and apply for membership? <laughs> why not? I'll go look into it. Sounds great. That's wonderful, Steve. If you got into the lodge, you'd be the talk of Harvest. The TM fucking killed me. Okay, what's Harvest? Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. In what way? I don't have time to go into it now. Why not take a walk around town and pester someone else? I'm busy. Okay, my mom's a stepford. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. I don't like when you talk out loud. Stay in the kitchen or whatever. 
I told you I'm busy, Steve. I'm sorry. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. <laughs> We're having a great time! <laughs> what is that? Take a fucking cookie! Take a baby, take a cookie, kid, take a baby, take a baby, take a cookie. Can I pick up the baby? Can I pick up a cookie? I can't pick up a baby or a cookie. Alright, bye. Okay, bye. Um... That's where we came from, right? The master bedroom door is firmly locked. Bummer, dude. Later, turd. I better save Sloot. Be the cum dumpster of the load or whatever. I don't think anyone's ha anything's happened. I don't know. We're still fucked. What the fuck? Who are you? Why are you? Hey, Steve. I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? I'm supposed to? Oh, remember. Yeah? Well, try to remember, will ya? How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. <laughs> I find this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? No. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> Look, if you find any, I'd be willing to trade you for them. Something really neato. Think about it. See you later, alligator. Okay. It's full of junk mail bills and bake sale flyers. Hot. What is that? An army surplus air conditioner? Steel barbs wrench signals from the naked air. High voltage power lines bathe your home in wholesome old fashioned electromagnetic field. You feel they're humming in your dreams. What? Oh, gee whiz, golly gosh darn it. Post office, barbershop, missile base, the lodge, my home, Johnson residence, abandoned home, Shady Oaks mortuary, or a cemetery. All of those sound super exciting, but my mom's face scares me. Turn it off, Willard. Oh, oh, okay. What? Red eyes gleam with eerie malevolence from the darkness? It looks as ancient as the building itself. Alarming gleans, green sludge oozes from the drain. Okay. Only initiates may enter the hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon. Did you say something? I did not speak. Not consent! Telepathy? But how? Only those who seek enlightenment warrant my attention. Do you hunger for true knowledge? You got any cock? Forbidden knowledge, the forgotten pleasures, and pleasures as yet undiscovered. But such is not for the likes of you. Not yet. You must first fill out an application to be considered for he just invited me into the mysteries. Paperwork? Why should I fill out a stupid form? Okay, give me an application then. Applications are available at the post office. Postmaster Boyle disseminates them to the Yeah, cool paperwork. I do not sully my hands. Then I just fill it out and return it to you, or what? <laughs> you may find it difficult to obtain an application. You will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boyle to give you one in the middle of the month, as it is against his rules. When you do, however, bring it to me. And if you are worthy, you will be put to the test. Is he gonna fuck me? Hmm. 
Right, like, I just want to join your cult. I thought all I had to do was be willing. An old glory flag? 41% off packing peanuts, assorted colors. That's... A crushed paper cup with smudged lipstick on it. That's hot. Twist of the game, you can date anyone. <laughs> three clocks, three times. That's okay. Bake sale, bake sale. That does not say bake sale, bake sale. It literally says charity bake sale Friday. Yeah. A zip code map with harvest dead center. Hot. These mailboxes seem hardly used. What the f Yes? Ah! I need some help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle, what can I do for you today? I'm looking for some gay stuff. Mm, sorry, youngster. We're out of applications right now. Come on. You must have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. I'm going to murder you. Well, can I get one at the lodge instead? Come on, it won't kill you to make a lousy copy. Come on, suck my dick. It's not the effort, son. It's the principle. We must adhere to our standards. They're all that stand between civilization and chaos. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster <laughs> Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior? Ass play? <laughs> Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. Fuck you. A blind woman's trying to read her mail? Um. So Wait, that really happens? That's. Did I just walk into a wall? That's hilarious. Our Lord and Savior, Vagisil! Creamy here and there and out the hill. Looks like Mr. Pastorelli forgot to put out the paper for Jimmy. Wait, what? Jimmy's a vandal? Should we kill Jimmy? Uh, no one can help me. Oh, let's check out the other stores. Fuck him. Let's get a haircut. Shave and a haircut. I'd like to take a moment to issue an official what the fuck. An unfortunate extraterrestrial who's journeyed hundreds of light years to end up, end up mounted on a barber's wall. Um, I do believe that might be a little person. A fancy barber pole secured to the wall with straight slot screws. You're a straight slot. Made of solidified mousse and sticky hairspray, this lovely mannequin is a work of art. Except for its occasional hairball cough, it's hard to tell if the sheep is alive or not. I'm sorry, what? It takes a true sportsman to hunt down those dangerous cows. It's a picture of Mr. Pastorelli as a young buck. A picture of young Mr. Pastorelli, spaghetti on his stomach and all. I'm sorry, what? Colonel Buster Monroe flipping the bird from his B-17 cockpit. Hello there, youngster. No! Baby Malians I was telling you about when they came back last night. Cut another crop circle in myself. I don't know. How come I never seen none of them saucers, Clem? Them aliens is wily, Pete. You don't cross the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. You know what Pastor really did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. We are a 
having fun. <laughs> Why, that barber's pole that he is, is his pride and joy. Brought all the way over from Italy, wrapped all special like. It ain't nothing but colored glass with some bulbs just stuck up in it. But he thinks it's to be all end all. Install that alarm system just to protect it. Though who in tarnation did want to steal a worthless piece of junk like that? I, I don't know. Who in tarnation? Clem? Oh, <laughs> Pete, don't be ignorant. Them aliens don't give a fig for no colored glass. You think if they can build spaceships, they can't make a bad gum barber pole? Crazy heck, don't Hi, care gay. nothing about science. <laughs> the little person's face, though? What is that? Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. <laughs> Dang idiot cross-wired it through the fire sprinkler, so now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spray. Tarnation! Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop, sure enough. Why are rednecks always talking about aliens? Oh my god, Knives, what did you think of the witch? Now you get it. Now you get it. Well, son, the ways of the alien is a specialized area of woodcraft unknown to all but the wiliest sportsmen. What you gotta remember is, your average alien is smarter than your average human. So you gotta be extra careful building your blind if you want a bag one. You hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can never go back to quail. What? You think you can get one of those and just swap me? Line your blind with lead to fool their sensing machines. Lay real quiet and wait. Preferably in the woods around the nuclear base. Oh, they love messing around out there. Why not wait outside your field, Clem? Wait for them to come a carving. Oh, they do their crop doodles with zap guns. You crop throw, boom, doodles? Boom, you know <laughs> Besides, ain't no place to put the blind out in the field. Now, you listen to Clem Parsons if you want to tag an unearthly being. Lay across the void, wondering what lies beyond. All the time not knowing that what awaits them is... Buckshot! Jesus fucking Christ. The Pastorelli's a funny sort. Foreigner, don't you know? He cuts hair pretty good, but he don't know spit about nothing else. You just ask him to hook up an alarm system if you need convincing. Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Dang idiot crosswired it through the fire sprinkler, so now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spray. Tarnation! Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop, sure enough. I'd like to make you all wet now. Anytime, Steve. Steve. I am a st I am Steve. I- I am Steve. Okay, talk to me, bitch. Mr. Prasterelli doesn't respond, not understanding English. Wait, what? Like, at all? The dangling television is sure to cause neck strain at this angle. Can- where's the alarm? I want to turn the alarm. That's really motions you to stay away from the switch. Don't tell me what to do. Mmm. I'd like to ruin your day, sir. I don't think I can get over- there's nothing. Oh, can I walk? Can I go? Can I- can I- Walk. Do it. That's it? That's it? Cause you're fucking cleaning and shit? Fuck! What the tit? Okay. I hate it. Oh. All right, that's the system. All right. I did look at the pole and nothing happened. I thought he'd get excited if I touched his pole. I'll do it again for you. Let me touch your pole. A fancy barber pole secured to the wall with straight slot screws. We're here for it. That's all I get. I don't get to stroke a pole. No. Wow, we really gave up on that walk, didn't we?
Tape and broken glass, obviously a professional break-in. Phelps, neon letters drone relentlessly, eternally frozen at 4.05. I wonder if 4.05 means something. Ooh. Yum, creamed asparagus tips. Uh, what the fuck? Why? Yuck. No. That's a, that's a recipe for some pee. That's a recipe. <laughs> Examine the air conditioner. A tired air conditioner wheezes in the unseasoned heat. Yum. Cre is that what they're all just creamed asparagus? We're just creaming asparagus. Harvest bake sale this Friday in the school gym. Go. Free copies made here. They have a copy machine? Did they have copiers in the 50s? What the fuck? Empty barrels that smell like pickles. What? Dead roaches and bits of arid grit coat the water cooler's bone dry reservoir. Why? Fucking what? Oh, by the way, my um my hotel definitely had cockroaches. An old 16 millimeter projector with gain memorial gain memorial stenciled on it. Examine the barrel. This empty barrel reeks of rotting meat. Wow, this place is a positive experience. The shelf contains a variety of odd items for sale. A shoddy old TV missing the VHF knob. An empty meat box. How does one know a meat box from all other boxes? I must wonder. Can I help you, dear? Who are you? I did not. I this stayed at the This is General Ooh. Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Game Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. Westgate. I'm on a lot of things these days. My memory's gone. Sean, they are still in business, which is fucking Steve. wild. I'm serious. I need some help. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. In which case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Then again, they say a good scare can jog the memory. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? Don't know. Empty. Haven't seen him. Care to buy anything today? Empty meat box? That's what they used to call me in college! Oh my god. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'd love some of that. Just point to whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. Hello, Steve. Care to buy anything today? I pointed at your titties, bitch! Just point to whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. Well, what the f- Is that a flexi seal? Is that a flexi seal? Dude, that may be an adult magazine. I totally thought that was a flexi seal, which is what we use to attach a hose to your butthole in the hospital so you poop into a bag. I'm broken inside. An adult magazine for 25 cents. You must pay Mrs. Phelps before you can buy anything. A slightly used wrench. You must pay Mrs. Phelps before you can buy anything. A cow is bleeding a robust, a robust coffee on the Harvest Blend cop. What? Okay. Cans of soup, or possibly rat poison. What's that? Okay. Black electrical tape, you must pay Miss- Shut up. I want that. Can I have that? She said to point to anything I want. I want that! I want the porn! Give me the porn! Hello, Steve. Care to buy anything today? Porn! Just point to whatever you want. What the I'm a little hard to hear. I pointed. Point. 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 Did I do it? Did I do it? Give me the porn. Give me the porn! Ah! I have 25 cents. This is really fucked up. I hate you. I'm coming back for you. He's too busy working to notice you. Talk to me, talk to me, baby. 
a phallic symbol thrusting boldly upwards from the concrete, ever ready to spew forth. Holy shit, what is this game? I couldn't buy shit. I literally couldn't buy shit. Missile base sounds fun and safe. What the fuck? These aircrafts appear very well maintained. Maintained, Katie. Oddly enough, this guard booth is the only building on the base. This, okay. Well stocked with missiles. Oh, who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. All right. This is Section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft dodging ploy the way I see it. But at least you're not an alien. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Keeping America safe from those who would die a flag red, have... white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles? Goddamn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! The price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. Well, I suppose you have, you know, safeguards against accidents? Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Then you have sole control of the, uh, missiles. Without That's legs. right. Been in charge here since WW2, when I got my lower torso shot off in the war. Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick <laughs> me behind the desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me. Holy shit, he doesn't have the, legs! After the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England trailing my intestines behind me, I was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was an error, but he legitimately doesn't have legs. <laughs> He's just fucking on the ground. What is going on? The button? Why are you asking about the button, son? I'm just a little nervous about it. I mean, suppose an accident happens. Don't get your it's panties the in a bunch, mister. The button is perfectly safe. I keep it on my person all. <laughs> Tommy bastard is getting his mitts on this button. No siree, Bob. No one initiates a nuclear holocaust and harvest except me. Now doesn't that make you feel better? Can you fall over if you don't have legs? I don't know. Does he just roll? What the? F I can't save in the middle of a conversation, so we're kind of fucked here, but I have been saving quite frequently because everyone told me to. Them commie bastards. Frankly, all these questions are making me a little suspicious of you. Maybe you're one of those pink-blooded Americans. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now? What? Not really. Is he gonna shoot me? No, not really. I appreciate your honesty, comrade. Everybody. <laughs> uh, 
I saved after this, you little cock fart. God damn it. Oh well. Hey Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? No, -uh, I saved after this. I guess this. not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Yeah. Oh, well, we can click through it. Sorry, bro. Uh, I totally fucking saved after that fucking piece of shit. Um, alright, we know where the commie bastard is. Let's see, I'm gonna try to click the- No, not the barbershop shit, it was the store. I wanna try to click the register. I didn't try doing that, maybe you're right. I don't know if I did, I clicked everything madly like a psycho, but maybe I didn't hit it. Hold up. Inside, bitch. Can I touch your register, bitch? Let me touch it, let me touch it, let me touch it, let me touch it, let me touch it. No! What the fuck? Can I have- This is- I'm gonna save after this, don't worry. Don't know. Care to buy anything today? Just- I pointed. But then what? She straight up just won't let me buy anything. Fuck, I wanna sniff your pickle, bitch. Just let me like- Anything! I'm pointing at the board! Give me the nudie! Mm -hmm. She hates me. All right, you guys witness this. Maybe I have to do fuck too. I don't know. Okay, I can't tickle or pickle. I can copy shit. I can't. I pointed. Are you blind too? Taters, mustard, porn, a lady, invading. All right, let's go talk to Comrade again. What up, slut? You legless piece of shit. I guess maybe we should name it after the people. Torso bastard. Halt! Who goes there? I already uh, talked to you. Well, that. Sorry. Shut Colonel the fuck D. up. Say shut up. Then shut that's up. That's right. Shut up. Got Nobody cares. Everybody. Nobody. That's shut right. up. Shut up. The button. Lower torso. Gotta ask about that. You say before you came to harvest, your lower torso was shot off in the war? Shot off? That's right. It was behind enemy lines. The night was dark. The rain wet. The plastic I was supposed to rig the bridge with. Precariously sandwiched <laughs> between my knees as I crawled in the muddy mud. The muddy mud. I didn't see the Jerry taking aim at me with his machine gun until half of me was flying through the air. With a quick spray of bullets in a straight line, it shut my body clean in two. My lower body landed at that Jerry's feet. I can still hear him laughing as I started crawling in the general direction of England. Wow. Calling behind me in broken English. My friend, where is your legs? Looky, what have we here? Some legs? Hey, did they never lose some legs? I'll never forget looking back over my shoulder and seeing that crowd doing the can-can with my legs. Oh. Until a few weeks later, with only my compass and a pair of nylons, <laughs> I made it back to safety. Now the crowds are our friends and the commie bastards are our enemies. But even so, there's at least one crowd out there that I'll never invite over to Sunday dinner. For four years, your father, he kept that uncomfortable hook of metal up his ass. Until he died of dysentery. And then he, he gave it to me in his dying bed and said, hold this for my son. He kept that uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass for two long years. Harvest is a fine town. Steeped in traditional American values. But that lodge, well, it makes me suspicious. Don't mind saying it. They've got their fingers in into my everything ass. around here. Like a certain red commie bastard menace, which shall be nameless. No shit. Introduced in 1950. Boom, by 3M. So that Don actually looked it up. No shit. Per Smithsonian, along with the first modern copy machines introduced in 1950 by 3M, was the Thermofax, and it made a copy by shining infrared light through an original document and a sheet of paper that had been coated with heat-sensitive chemicals. Boom! I legitimately didn't know. Thank you. I thought they were fucking with us. Like, there was going to be modern technology and really old shit for a while, so that confirms that maybe that's not a thing. So thank you. 
Um, then I'll be sure to stay away from the lodge. Sorry, Colonel, I've decided to join the lodge. Oh, no. You read me wrong, mister. I think you should join the lodge, infiltrate it, and report back on any red sympathizers. Your report could affect my decision on what oh. I have to do. Okay, do you have an application? Frankly, all these questions are making me a little suspicious of you. God damn it. Maybe you're one of those pink-blooded Americans. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now? I'm an American! Right, huh? Your average commie bastard is always only too ready to hide behind the Constitution. Real Americans waive their rights for the common good. What? Would you? This man makes me nervous. Sure I would, for this great country of ours. Hell no, I refuse to surrender my rights. Ooh, America, frick yeah. Katie's confused and doesn't know how to not get shot. Um, whatever. I don't have any fucking rights. Dead bodies have more rights than my pussy right now. You talk a good game, mister. But so does your average commie bastard. You're a commie bastard! The Kremlin teaches its agents to talk their way out of a scrape. What do you think about that, son? I think I'm a little horny, a little hungry, and a little tired. What's up? The communists can hardly be said to hold a mon monopoly on intellectual discourse. I don't think much about stuff like that, Colonel. The communists can hardly be said to hold a monopoly on intellectual discourse, word. You should have watched more TV and read less Dostoevsky if you wanted to pass for an American, comrade. It's gonna be the face again! I'm kind of excited to be honest. Get it, motherfucker! Absolutely hot magic. <laughs> I'm having a great time. Let's see if my saves worked for fuck's sake. You better. I'm guessing pink blooded means watered down, like you're not a true American. I've never oh. heard that, but I'm guessing. Uh, all right. That. So you are. Colonel, these are. Goddamn. Well, I say then that's right. when I got those panty waists in Washington wanted to. That's why they gave me <laughs> intestines, aliens, commie bastards, emotional instability. The funny thing about it is, you wouldn't think so, but you've got about three miles of intestines in your body, all curled up. Now that came in handy as I gauged my progress. While I crawled from Germany to England, my intestines would unravel, such that every three miles I'd have to run back Kami. Of There you go. Thank you. It became my benchmark, what I lived for. Every time I stuffed my intestines back in, I knew I was three miles closer to freedom. In this way, I kept my sanity. That's what I told those idiots in Washington. But did they listen? No. <laughs> Some weak sister shrink said I was too emotionally unstable to kill Koreans. So they transferred me to this boring stockpile of armed nuclear warheads. And to top it off, those pansy firemen won't let me join the Harpers Volunteer Fire Department. Oh, it makes you wonder. What's the point of going on? I'm going to save real quick. Remember, duck and... Because I think he might kill us. Torso nut. All right, B. Halt. Who goes there? It's just me. What do you want? Did the llamas send you? Fuck. Are we with the llamas, or do they fear us? I'd say I'm with them because they're kind of assholes, but also... He 
in Kent? Kent, Kent where? Kent, Washington? I probably know a few people that live in Kent, Washington. Probably, honestly. Washington's, like, all the cities on the West Coast are so fucking spread out and, like, merged together, kind of, you know? Yeah, probably. Probably was me, absolutely. I have no idea what, but yeah, absolutely. I think the llamas are gonna fear me. That's good. Someone has to keep them in Hail check. Hail to the motherfucking yeah! I'm glad you stopped by again. I want you to infiltrate those firemen, mister. There's a lot of art going on over there. I want to make sure they haven't turned into commie bastards. You got that? And don't come back unless you've got information for me. Okay! Remember, duck and cover. Llamas, my dudes. Motherfucking llamas. Dude, it's so... I just have to say, it's really weird how many Washingtonians just... By chance, find my channel and come in. Because I don't in any... Like, I grew up in Washington as a child, but I haven't lived there for over 15 years now. And it's real weird and fucking fun. <gasps> Do the Puyallup! I'm so sorry. I can't help it. I'm broken inside. You get it. All right, where are we going next? Um, TV station... Gain Memorial. This game is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Meat Plant. Jesus. Um, we got Police Station. What is this? Edna's Diner. Police Station. Fire Station. Newspaper Building. Wayward Hotel. A Cemetery. A Johnson Residence. Or an Abandoned Home. Should I go tell my mom I can't get a thing? Oh, shit. I don't know if it saved that. Let's go to the temple and then the, the lodge and then the post office again. Because I think I have to fucking do these conversations again. I didn't know you had to do individual saves. Subslut. Only initiates may enter the hall of the order of the harvest moon. Did you say something? I did not speak, but my mind touched. <laughs> Thank you, McTaggart. I appreciate you. Telepathy. Might be the Washington. Only those who seek enlightenment or want my attention. Do you hunger for true knowledge? I like the Evergreen State Fair better. Is that weird? I feel like it's just less packed with shit. Uh, let me join. There are always obstacles to the path. Mother of cock. You must first fill out an application to be considered for initiation into the mysteries. Oh, Riri! Paperwork? Why should I fill out a form? A stupid form! Give me that. Applications are available at the post office. Tit. Postmaster Boyle disseminates them. To the food's amazing, issues. absolutely. Oh my god, those onion I burgers. I don't even know the stand. Hands. But they do this big, like, overflowing grilled onion robot. burgers. Oh my god. You may find it difficult to obtain. Oh my god, migrants, is it? You will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boyle that is to weird. Keep one in the middle of the month. I was born there. Against his rules. When you do, however, bring it to me. And if you are worthy, you will be put to the test. Man, I'm a firm supporter of if it can be deep fried, do it. I don't know. Is that just me? Like, not because I'm obsessed with oil and fat or anything, but like anything that gets a crispy outside and a warm, gooey middle is just going to be so much better than literally anything else. Shit, no, post office. Katie, bad. Just fair food. Honestly, like, the Puyallup Fair is a, an enormous, I mean, it's fucking gigantic state fair in Washington, but Washington State is so big, it has a couple different state fairs. So there's the Puyallup Fair, which is in Puyallup, and then there's the Evergreen State Fair, which is in Monroe. They're both just gigantic, like, fairs, you know, with, like, animals and horse barns and cow barns, and that's my favorite. I like to go see the animals and get an elephant ear and eat myself stupid. Dude, David, right? It it does it does something. Yes, mac and cheese. Dude, deep fried mac and cheese though. What the fuck? What the fuck? All right, I'm gonna save before I talk to this fuck, this fool. Uh. Oh, still. The Colorado fair meeting yes. is really sad. I need some help, Mister Postmaster Boyle. What can I do for you today? I've had deep fried pizza, but never a burger. That sounds fucking dope. 
I'd like a large application, please. Mm, sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. Come on, you must have one around here somewhere. Give well, it to me, give I it to me, baby. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Why? Well, can I go get one at the lodge instead? Afraid not, son. Thank you can't get them anywhere but the post office. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the line. <laughs> can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. This, this game is a fucking trip, Miller. I'm doing do I just got back from TwitchCon, so I'm, I'm doing good, but fucking tired. I've never had deep fried... Coca-Cola how? No. I've had deep fried ice cream, though. That was amazing. Next Bye. Time you post, don't forget the zip code. I don't like when you talk out loud, sir. Refrain. Refrain. Oh, this. Oh, dude, is it amazing? Deep fried Oreos. Oreos are another. They're a whole other ball game. Those are so fucking good. I've had a deep fried Snickers. Deep fried Oreos, definitely. I mean, deep fried, dude. Even just, just the thing, the most simple, one of the most simple, like, like pinnacles of human existence, bread. You deep fry it, why is it better? Why is it better? I don't know. Deep frying, I don't get it. It's amazing. All right, you were a waste of my time. Save. Boo hiss. There's deep, I saw, I'm not kidding you, last time I went to the Puyallup Fair, I saw a stand that said they served deep fried butter. I don't know what it was. I didn't see anyone get one, but I'm assuming it was a frozen stick of butter on a stick. I have no idea, but I saw it. <laughs> I'm an elephant ear girl through and through. If you don't know, it's, an elephant ear is basically like a deep fried crepe. It's just like pizza dough they deep fry and then they put butter and cinnamon sugar all over it. It's fucking phenomenal. I love spiral cut fries, but I like fries. Like, I'm just a slut for fries in general. I gotta go tell my mom I can't get a nap. Dude, Donna, right? Like, I gotta have something in there. Like, something other than fat. Ooh, there's a crack in the ceiling. Can I admire it? No. My kid brother's still being a weirdo. Let's go to the kitchen and talk to our mom. Oh, <gasps> wait, the door's open. <laughs> oh, it's firmly locked. It looked open. <laughs> I think that's something's happening in there. I am a super, like, I'm one of those people that if we go to a burger joint, I am far more concerned with the fries than the cheeseburger. In and out. I'm saying it here and now. In and out fucking sucks. I don't know what happened if they just, like, exfoliated an elderly lady's legs and then made it into a batter, and then put it in a fry mold, and then kind of lightly deep fried the sticks. But their fries are embarrassing. What the? I was... No shit, I was high off my ass the first time I ate them, and they were still fucking disgusting. What the shit? Get it together! Mommy. I told you I'm busy, Steve. Why don't you talk to Hank, or go next door and visit Stephanie, or... Go get an early start on your new job. Sweet potato fries are fucking delicious. Amen. Yep. Fries make the burger, right? Thank you. Fries dipped in a frosty. A fucking men. Okay, I would never, David. I wouldn't compare food outside of America to American food because it's not the same thing. We ruin things. You know this. And just who is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. <gasps> I had White Castle for the first time Indonesia this weekend. Poop, it was delicious. She'll think her fiancé is having second thoughts about the wedding. They're actually making it with fresh potatoes. Oh my God, sleaze. That, how, that even makes it more sad. That makes it so much worse. Like what's happening? Cause they're gross. I mean, I'm not, I had really, I was really excited to try In-N-Out for the first time. Cause I never grew up around it. So when I went to California for some TwitchCon, I went and I was like, this, these fries are shameful. These are disgusting. Yeah, I don't know what they did. Like, I, I, I appreciate the effort in trying to give us fresh food, but yuck. You did it wrong. The burger wasn't bad, but I'm there for the fries. So, you lost me. 
Okay, I can't tell Don't you I didn't get, get a papers. job, so I guess I'll go next door and talk to my girlfriend. Wait, oh my god, the trash can was full of cookies. Stop it. Oh my god, McTaggart, I would fuck that with my mouth. Freshly baked cookies are in the trash. That's... My mom's a nut. Sweet potatoes, I mean... I think it kind of depends on what someone's serving you because there's so many different types of potatoes that America calls a sweet potato but isn't actually a sweet potato. I totally get it. Like, for me to like sweet potatoes, I have to kind of make them savory. Like, I don't want to put sweet stuff on my sweet potatoes unless it's sweet potato pie. Making them savory like garlic or chili powder or something like that makes it, like, palatable. Skipped them 100%. Thank you. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Easy. I hope you fucking ace that shit. Thanks so much for something class, keeping class love, and giving an ace wings for so fucking long. I appreciate you, bro. I think yams, right? There's something more frequent. It's either one or the other. We call it the wrong thing here. Oh, there's a frisbee. A day glow lima space, lima space, lima space disc stuck on the roof. Can I get it? I want to get on the roof. There are security bars fastened to the window with Phillips head screws. Oh my God, is that my dad's bedroom? Huh. There is a difference between yams and sweet potatoes, but there's something like, I think in the US, we eat, like, I think we only have yams or we only have sweet potatoes. It's one of the two, but like grocery stores call them both interchangeably. Like there's a hair on my nose ring. Something like that, but there is definitely a difference. Yeah, they're both a root vegetable. I mean, they're delicious. 97, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't know. It's something about that. I can't remember what it was, though. Should we see the abandoned one, or let's go see our girlfriend first? Yeah, it's a type of spam. It's actually like a potato. It's really interesting. They're really, I like them, but, you know, teach their own. During the day, Mr. Johnson keeps watch over his precious 48 Tucker. That's not weird at all. Hello, Steve. How's the husband-to-be? Other than having no memory, I guess I'm all right. All right? You should be ecstatic, considering what you're getting into. What? If you haven't gotten into it already. Speaking of which, I heard Stephanie was grounded. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. Though if I were him, I'd be more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat. All right, and you are? You always were a kid, Steve. I'm Mr. Johnson, remember? Glad you stopped by. Just got finished waxing the tucker. I could use a little relaxation. But since Edna's not here, I might as well talk to you. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Did we just hear a chicken get shot? Hold on. I know. I have to save because I'm scared of him. Very scary sex man. Oh my god. Sorry, Steve. Too tired to talk right now. I just gave the Tucker a tune up. I'll talk to you later. What the fuck? Bye I gotta now. Oh, that face is not okay. Can I not? Can we not? I would like, I would like to. Okay. We have to assume, I always assume, I would hope the chicken was choked before shot, because Jesus Christ. The old car is the perfect nesting grounds for wasps. The attic window is the perfect nesting ground for wasps. The overhang is the perfect nesting ground for wasps. Wait, am I gonna get stung and die? So, time for scary bitch lady. Let's go. And I saved it, so we're good. We we saved scummied. Look at look at all the bees. Look at all the bees. See all the bees, bees, bees. A rather colorful picture of a wasp. That's that's it. The ice box is sealed shut with wasp nests.
A wasp nest. <laughs> it's not often that I get visitors. I am Tetsuo Crumb. The ignorant of harvest called me the wasp woman. <laughs> a pejorative, no doubt. Born of fear and a poverty of imagination. I don't understand. The politics of honey. The Judeo-Christian rites of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure are all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. Wasps don't make honey! Okay, um, honey. The politics of honey are Wasps. intertwined with the age-old struggle of the aesthetic versus the commercial. Because I choose to raise wasps instead of bees, I'm frowned upon by the community. Why? Well, raising bees is acceptable because they produce honey. Okay, all right. But sometimes it's not what is produced. So much as what is performed. I don't see any particular use for wasps. Why must everything have a use? Is money always the determining factor? More slender, more aerodynamic than the bee. Ah! No, 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 no! The wasp is a joy to be whole. That was the symbol of the order. Wait, did I die? Beautiful oh. and juicy. Isn't that enough to compensate for the little drop? Hi, gay. Um, um, um. Regard the wasp. Wasps produce nothing for others, but only for themselves. Wasps build nests and more wasps, nothing more. They spread into eaves and attics, not to make honey for supermarkets, but to buzz and rustle on their own paper, perpetuating their own agenda. Wasp, 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 surely. wasp, 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 The most relentless of insects. Yuhi! Are we being hypnotized by a wasp? <laughs> Wet ass wasp. <laughs> well, <coughs> as you can see, the little darlings do love to sting. Another source of Please prejudice no. for the masses, and another reason to love them. Bees are like animals. They sting only for a reason. For sacrifice. They have no conception of individual sensation. Of pleasure. Sounds fucking fun. Uh... Pleasure. Yes. A oh, bitch got on the pleasure. turn right there. The wasp is a sensual being. Not a laborer, hedonistic instead of industrial. Some think them quick to anger. In truth, they are easily swayed to ecstasy. They penetrate your flesh and the muscular contractions in their thorax as they pump venom could be likened to the muscular contractions of ejaculation. Each painful welt 